Rotocopters are a fun toy to make. All you need are paper, scissors, and maybe some crayons. A little tape and paper clips are also helpful. So you're gonna wanna cut a piece of paper that's around six inches long and around one and a half or two inches wide. Now, I'm drawing these lines just to show you where to cut and fold. You don't need to draw these lines when you make yours. So you can think of your rotocopter as having sort of two parts. You've got the blades that you cut apart and fold that spin, and then you've got the base that you fold, and then you also fold the end and tape that to keep it closed. Then to make those blades spin, you just fold one forward and one back, and you're ready to for your test flights. And to do your test flights, you'll just get up as high as you can, reach up, let go of the base, and see what happens. Now, as soon as you've done this, you're going to wonder how you can make it fly differently. So this is what engineers do. They try something, and then they think about how they can make it better or modify it. So which spins faster, a larger rotocopter or a smaller rotocopter? What about which one lands sooner, the larger or the smaller rotocopter? Now, how do we find out? We could guess. We could ask other people. We could listen to the loudest person, we could fight about it, or we could try it. So to have a fair test, we're going to need to decide how to test it. So if you've already made your six inch rotocopter and you've taped the end and you've done some test flights, maybe you want to make a smaller rotocopter so you can compare how it behaves compared with the larger one. So if you're comparing a six inch rotocopter, you might want to make a three inch rotocopter. So for this one, I just went with about three inches long and a less than an inch wide. So engineers and scientists, before they start their tests, their investigation, their experiment, they first make a guess that we call a hypothesis. It's a best guess. So make your hypothesis and then go do some testing. Maybe you have some other questions. What happens if you color one side red and the other yellow? Or one side blue and the other side yellow? What about stripes? How will stripes look when the rotocopter spins? This is worth trying. I'm sure you'll come up with all kinds of clever designs and fun ideas. Maybe you have a heat vent or a fan that you could point upward and see what happens. Now, usually we use tape at the bottom of our rotocopter, what happens if you use a paper clip? Try it. So how many seconds can you make your rotocopter fly? Can you make it fly longer? Can you make it fly shorter? What's your record for your longest flight? What about your shortest flight? What about what's your coolest design? So start designing, modify your design, try it again and again, modify it, try it again and again, and mostly have fun. Happy tinkering.